Yo, what's going on guys? This is Jonathan. Today I'm going to be bringing you a video talking about leaving home for the first time or even I was trying to think of another way to word it. It's not necessarily leaving home for the first time um, because some of you are a lot older who are joining the military. Sometimes it's just going somewhere that you've never been or you don't know what to expect for the very first time. I guess you could say that I'm kind of like a little bit of an adventurous person. Like I never really thought about leaving home for the first time and, and going somewhere that I had never been because it wasn't, it just wasn't something that really bothered me. I kind of had that trust in me that I knew where I would be going. I knew like, even if I went somewhere where I didn't know people, I would make friends. I, I kind of knew like, okay, I'm going to BMT. I'm joining the military. They're gonna take care of me. I'm gonna have food to eat. And so I wasn't really scared on that end. The biggest aspect for me was definitely leaving my wife. Leaving Amor was the biggest thing because we had been sleeping together every night. We had been together with each other during the day, every day, besides like when we're at work and stuff like that. And I grew so accustomed to be with this person and in the back of my mind, as the weeks are getting closer to BMT and you keep getting closer to BMT, you kind of think like, dang, like I'm definitely gonna be leaving this person. I'm not gonna see them for like six months or whatever the case may be. Um, and when I say that, I mean like see them every single day like you already were, readapting to seeing them every single day. And you're not gonna do that for six months, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, they come for your BMT graduation. Yes, they might visit you in tech school a little bit. It's probably a lot easier if your family lives in that same state. So for you people, you're lucky. But for the people who don't have that luxury, it's definitely, um, there's, there's a sort of shock factor when you go to BMT and you're probably away from your children or you're away from your wife or even if you have a close relationship with your mom, your dad, your grandma, your uncle, your aunt, whoever it may be, if you have a super close relationship with them and then you just randomly one day, you know, it's not really random, but you go somewhere for a really long period of time um, it's definitely there's gonna there's like there's a learning curve when it comes to it and, and readapting your lifestyle to be alone um, I'm kind of good at being independent. I guess you could say I've been in a relationship for a really long time But we both have that independent part of ourselves. That's really important And so it wasn't really crazy, but I know that there's some of you out here who, out there who are really young some of you who are older and probably already have a big family and kids and stuff like that who might be interested in joining because the age spectrum is so big, but um, you're definitely gonna have to readapt to that. And it's a lot easier when you are married, I think, probably, because once you're out of tech school, once you move all your stuff, your, your, your kids and your wife are usually following you wherever you go, whether you go to Korea, whether you go to Germany, or whatever the case may be, they're gonna be with you, right? Or actually, they're not gonna be with you in Korea. That was, that was a mistake on my part. But if you go to Germany, if you go anywhere, Konis, or maybe some places overseas, like Hawaii or whatever, because Hawaii is considered an overseas base, they're gonna be with you. However, for the young people who aren't, I mean, I'm young too, for the younger people who aren't necessarily um, ready for that kind of shock factor, when you're, you know, super close with your parents and stuff like that, it's definitely gonna be weird to get stationed in Korea or Japan and have to pay a thousand, two thousand dollars to fly home for Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever the case may be. It's definitely going to be different. Um, and it's kind of crazy. I know I've just kind of talked about what it's like and stuff like that, and this is how you cope with it. You just have to. You just have to learn how to be independent. There's no guidelines for for coping with for, with missing somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like you're always gonna miss that person until you're back home. Me and my wife miss Colorado every single day. We always talk about the restaurants that we miss. We talk about moving back almost every day and having our kids there and having our kids close with family. We talk about having our dogs close with family. We talk about absolutely every single part of Colorado and there's always that part of us that misses our parents and misses our family and stuff like that. However, with that being said, since we are older and, and mature, I guess, and maybe where we were back then, it's fine for us to be away from home. It's fine for us to be away from our families because our families kind of annoy us sometimes and that's just the way it is. That's kind of how life is. You know, you have certain, you, you kind of adapt to be with that person that you're with, your significant other, and then the other people around you, they matter, but they don't matter as much as your significant other. And so you kind of learn to be like that. And I know this is really one-sided because I'm talking about my significant other and my wife, but, and I, like, I know that you might not have that, like, right? Like you might be single, you might not be in a relationship. And that's when you have to love yourself. And I know it's like, it might sound like cliche and corny and stuff, but at the end of the day, like you kind of have to be comfortable with yourself. You have to learn how to be independent. You have to learn how to take care of yourself because no one's gonna wipe your butt for you. No one's gonna make sure you get up on time every single day for you. No one's gonna make sure that you do PT and can pass a PT test for you because there are certain responsibilities 
with life in general and I guess specifically for my situation being in the military there are situations where you have to be super responsible like I wake up late for work and I'm like like texting in our group chat like yo sorry I woke up late I'll be there in 10 minutes 20 minutes or whatever the case may be and then I, I'm like you know like dang I, I can't do that I can't do that anymore I'm not 16 my mom's not gonna bust through the door and start screaming at me and pour water on my head or something like that I mean I wish I had like a super concrete way for you to kind of cope with that but honestly I guess the biggest thing would kind of be just you need to learn to love yourself be comfortable with yourself understand that the Air Force is always gonna give you BAS whether it's in um, the defect or you live off base and you're getting BAS like that means you're always gonna have food You're always gonna have a place to sleep You're always gonna have co-workers that care about you if you really are struggling and you're, you're struggling to be away from home And you're struggling through tech school even struggling through BMT You can always talk to mental health. You can always talk to your MTI even you can talk to um, Chaplains and all sorts of stuff like that. There are tons of resources that are absolutely everywhere in the military. I'm not joking, like when you go to the bathroom at BMT, there's literally a phone with a tree directory in there and you can talk to a chaplain. You can do all sorts of stuff like that on that phone. So um, definitely just, just be aware of that. Be aware that like you're not gonna leave home and, and try to do something amazing and then just be crushed every single time. Um, throughout your experience you're always gonna like there's always somebody there who is willing to care about you because there's there's this weird like this kind of weird family vibe when you join the military I wish I could explain it better but it's just like a vibe like people care about you um, there's always things where like if you don't have a place to go for Christmas if you're like a lonely airman living in the dorms and and you don't have a place to go for Christmas a lot of the families and the key spouses around your squadron and stuff will organize things like airman Christmases and airman breakfast and all sorts of stuff like that so once you join if you're not already in the military you will definitely start to understand that um, a lot of the worries you have before joining BMT very easily get explained after you join the military so I'm really I, I hope that I can use my experience to kind of um, go through with this video now I've never been to an airman's breakfast or an airman's Christmas or whatever you want to call it because I have my significant other but if you aren't there yet those options are there for you and if you are married and you do have kids then once you get through tech school and you power through that and you like you have to kind of have the mentality of like I have to get this done and then once I get this done, I 100% will be with my family at the end of it. And that was kind of the mentality that I had that worked very well. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is a good video. This was recommended to me by a fan. I don't have the name on the top of my head right now. But if you are watching this, thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you have any video requests related or whatever you think may be a good video, I would definitely like to know what that is. So make sure you leave it down below. If you have a ship day, don't forget to leave that down there too. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notifications bell just so that you can be notified when I upload a video. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this and peace out.